In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a VERP chart for a series circuit. In this circuit, two resistors in the form of light bulbs having a resistance of 10 ohms and 30 ohms respectively are connected to a 4.50 volt battery. Determine the Determine the VERP for all components. When I say VERP, I'm talking about the voltage, current, resistance, and power for each of the components in the circuit. The components include R1, R2, and the battery itself. So since this is a series circuit, there's some rules um, that we need to follow in the form of formulas. So I'm just going to make a note here stating that this is a series circuit. So since it's a series circuit, I know that RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus Rn. So we add up all the resistors in the series to figure out what the total resistance is. Vt is going to be equal to V1 plus V2 plus Vn. So we add up all the voltages across each of the resistors, and that is the total voltage in the circuit. The current, however, since it's a series loop, the total current does not change through the loop. So IT is equal to I1 is equal to I2 is equal to IN. So that stays the same. The last formula that's going to be useful is Ohm's law itself, which is V is equal to IR. So most likely we'll end up using all of these formulas as we calculate the VERP for each of the components. So I need to, um, I, I have the chart already drawn out. Uh, let's, actually let's finish titling it. We have V, we have I, we have R, and let's add P right there. Good. So that's our verb chart. So um, we're given some information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, write that out in green. So it's obvious that it's given to us. So we know that we have 10 ohms for R1 and 30 ohms for R2. And we're also to told what the total voltage of the system is. And that's 4.50 volts. So let's write that here, 4.5 volts. Good. So now what I want to do is I want to come up with a plan. And if I look at that VERP chart, I can see, given that the fact that I only have three pieces of info, um, I, I, I need to find out what is the first thing I can calculate. Since I have both resistors, I can figure out what the total resistance is using the total resistance formula for a series circuit. So RT is equal to R1 plus R2. So RT is equal to 10 plus 30. RT is equal to 40 ohms. So that's done. So I'm going to write 40 ohms into my table. So the next thing, uh, since I have the resistance, the total resistance, and I have the total voltage, I should be able to calculate the total current. So, um, and to do that, I'm going to use um, uh, Ohm's law. So Vt is equal to It RT. Um, so we have 4.5 is equal to uh, IT times 40. So IT is going to be equal to 0 0.113. And furthermore, that's equal to I1, which is equal to I2. So 
by doing that step of actually, I can fill out this entire column, 0.113 amps, 0.113 amps, and 0.113 amps. So the, the chart's filling up already. Um, I guess the next thing I can do is I can figure out the voltages. Uh, there really is no particular order once I get started. So let's do uh, V1 is equal to I1 R1. So V1 is equal to 0.113 times R1, which is 10. So V1 is going to be equal to 1.13 volts. As you do this, I'd like you to always show all the work. I know some of these calculations are simple and you can do them in your head, but make sure you provide the evidence for your answers. So this would be 1.13 volts. Uh, R2, uh, or V2, I guess. Uh, V2 is equal to I2, R2. V2 is 0.113 times 30. So V2 is going to work out to 3.39 volts. Okay, so you know I'm notorious for making mistakes. So as you go through this example, uh, check to see that you're getting the same answers as I am getting. Okay, and if you have a question, bring that question to class. So that's 3.39 volts. So all that we have left is to calculate the power. So let's just do it in an order. Power 1 is equal to I1 R1. Power 1 is equal to 0.113 times R1 is 1.13. So P1 is equal to 0.128. And that would be, uh, power would be joules per second or watts. Okay, so that would be the wattage of the first light bulb, 0.128 watts. So the second light bulb is going to be I2R2, and that's 0.113, but it has a higher resistance. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. So... That disappear and what I should have written is this should say V2 and um, I just realized that I made a uh, typo here also this should be sorry I'm a little bit flustered now so let me just check ah okay so right here that should say i1 v1 okay let me just highlight that okay right after i said i make mistakes i make a mistake okay so uh this number right here uh 0.113 times 1.13 that's correct that's correct um and let's go back to this last calculation and that's two and uh this is 0.113 times 3.39 for the for V2 and that works out to P2 is 0.383 watts okay and I, let me just point out here that this would be a brighter light right here and the reason I know it's a brighter light is because it has a higher wattage and the wattage is associated with brightness. Furthermore, what that means is light bulb number two will consume more energy than light bulb number one. So the last thing, let's calculate the total power in the circuit. Total power is going to be total current times the total voltage. So total power consumption is 
times 4.50. So the total power used with both of these bulbs put together is 0 0.509 watts. Very good. Now, last thing I just want to mention, imagine, let's look here at the circuit. Imagine if um, we know that this was a 10 ohm and this was a 30 ohm. We just calculated that the total power consumption in the circuit is 0 0.509 watts. What would happen if I replaced R1 with a 30 ohm light bulb? Well, if you run through the calculations, or if you think about it, what should happen is by increasing the, the uh, resistance of R1, I'm going to increase its power consumption. The light bulb will be brighter, but the reason the light bulb is brighter is because it's using up more energy.